So let's go to the PMBOK guide. Let's go to page 24 and figure 2-6. I want to call your attention to the relationship between stakeholders and the project. We were talking about stakeholders a few moments ago. Now, if you look at the big picture view, because your stakeholders aren't all in the project management team, stakeholders could refer to people in the general public, you know, people who are interested in what you're doing. Maybe you're releasing toxic gases in the project. Well, those people in the environment are actually stakeholders. They want to know, are these gases toxic? If they are, are they above the limit, the threshold that the government imposed? And if so, what are you doing to stop it? So they are stakeholders. So over here, we can talk about the all-inclusive stakeholder view. All right? So we have a more wider view of the stakeholders in which we have the project team. We've got the project management team as a subset of that. In addition to that, we could have other people who are not in the immediate project team and we could have for example we could have the public we could have the government we could have people such as functional managers we could have operations managers and so on the all-inclusive view stakeholders everyone but we could break those down into those different subcomponents so let's look at the slide that we've got up right now. We can see organizational influences on projects. This is a very important topic that you need to be aware of. Organizational culture, structure, and style will influence how your project is managed. The visions of the organization, the policies, the view of authority relationships, work ethic, degree of project management maturity, availability of project management systems, those will all add up to how your project is managed because the organization has a big part to play on how your project is managed. So all those factors contribute. Now we're going to talk about the organization types in project management that are talked about in the PMBOK Guide 4th edition. Look at table 2-1 and refer to page 28 if you want to go there. All the information there is relevant to our discussion right now. You have three types of organizations basically in the PMBOK Guide. You can break them down into these three buckets. You could have a functional organization, a matrix organization, or a projectized organization. So let's look here. You can see that in the functional organization, you can see the project manager's authority is little or none. We can see that in the matrix organization, we can further break that down into three, weak, balanced, and strong. In the weak, the project manager's authority is kind of better than the functional, but it's still limited. In the balanced matrix, it becomes low to moderate. It gets a little bit better. And then we've got the strong matrix. In the strong matrix, project manager's authority is moderate to high. And then we've got the projectized organization, where he's got high to almost total authority. Looking at resource availability, we can see that in the functional organization, hardly any resources as far as the project manager controlling resources. But all the way at the end of the spectrum, high to almost total control of resources or resource availability for the project manager, we can see that in the projectized organization. So let's skip a few slides, go straight into talking about the first organization type, functional organization. We can see that in this organization type, looking at the slide here, staff members report to one supervisor. Staff members are grouped by function, for example, engineering, marketing, and accounting. The authority of the project budget is held by the functional manager, and we can see that here. The key thing to understand is that the project manager's role is known as project coordinator or project expediter in that type of organization. The project manager has very little authority here, and he's looked at really as someone who just coordinates the project around these people. Ultimately, the real power lies with the functional manager. Moving on to the next type, matrix organization. In the matrix organization, this is a blend of functional and projectized. You can see that over here we've got the weak matrix. Still, the project manager's role is one of a project coordinator. Very weak authority. Functional manager has moderate to high authority. The functional manager controls the project budget. So there might be project management, but it's still very weak. Balanced matrix, we can see that, aha, the project manager is on the radar now. Project manager begins to manage. And in this form of organization, the project manager's authority is kind of shared. 
with the functional manager. That's why we call it balanced. So it's better than the functional and the weak matrix. Moving on, we can see the strong matrix. It gets even better for the project manager because we've got a manager of project managers. Project manager have more authority, moderate to high. Project manager controls the project budget. So it gets even better for the project manager. And then we've got the projectized organization, which is project manager heaven, where project manager has almost total authority over every resource that he needs. A project in a projectized organization will be run to the highest degree of project management if the project manager knows what he's doing. So this is an organizational structure in which a majority of resources are involved in project work. Staff members report to a project manager, as you can see. That's really paradise for the project manager, isn't it? And then authority and control of project budget is held by the project manager. It's a really, really nice organization for project managers to work. Now we've got another type, which is a blend of everything, composite organization. Now you can see different levels of projectized project management, weak matrix, strong matrix, balanced, and so on, all at play in this figure. You can see project coordination in a weak fashion. And then you can see over here the project manager is serving more in a projectized role. There's lots of things happening in this composite organization. So let me ask you, what type of organization do you work for? Is it projectized? Is it functional? You know, is it siloed like the functional? Or do you have the project manager managing projects? Good question to ask yourself. Now, here's a very interesting topic I told you we were going to talk about, organizational process assets. When we come back, we are going to go into lots of details regarding the corporate knowledge base and what organizational process assets are.